Miami Dolphins news and rumors coming at you here at NFL, or I guess by Chat Sports. There was a report that came out, and I'm going to use this report as a, <laughs> um, a bullshit term, just to be honest with you all, that Xavier Howard was on the trade block. This came from Omar Kelly of the South Florida Sun Centennial. And it's funny because I love when people put things out and then the actual NFL team calls BS and calls it fake news because the Miami Dolphins are not trading Xavier Howard. And somebody got called out on it, and I absolutely love it. Like, have you guys ever seen uh, the movie with Adam Sandler and they're like, I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul? That's basically what the Miami Dolphins did here to this guy. I mean, look at this quote. This is exactly it. The report is the South Florida Sun Centennial is factually incorrect, and based on the rumors, the paper practiced poor journalism by not reaching out to the team for comment or the chance to respond prior to publishing the story. We are not exploring any trades regarding Xavier Howard. This is incredible, and you know what? Miami's kind of in this difficult situation where like, hmm, what do we do exactly with Howard? He's been great. He's got 11 tackles, four interceptions, which, by the way, that's leading the NFL right now. And when he's been fully healthy, he has been phenomenal. Now, when you look right now at the Dolphins' secondary, Byron Jones, you paid him big money. Him and Howard, when they're healthy, that might be the best duo in the league. Nick Needham definitely needs to step up. Roe McCain, they've actually played a lot better than what I anticipated personally. But when you have Miami, you're a team that's right there. Like, are they good? I'm not 100% sure. Are they bad? No, I'm not going to go that route either. So when I think about the Miami Dolphins, and I'm wondering, will they make a trade? So you know what? Maybe you guys can help me out a little bit. Give me a Y for yes, or I want you to type your N for no. And the reason why I could say yes is because, well, they are still in the hunt in the AFC East. The reason why I would say no is because you're looking at a team that I don't think right now is their Super Bowl window. And they have two first-round picks. You have two second-round picks. Maybe you play for the future. But at the end of the day, it's been a long time since Miami's really been a successful franchise, I would say. And at 3-3, three and three, they are right here in the playoff mix. Sure, you don't see their logo up on screen. But the Colts right now, at that seven seed, guess who's the only team, or I should say, guess who's the team right behind them? It's the Miami Dolphins, and this is a team that's right in the middle of it. Sure, not too many teams in the thick of the playoff hunt bench their starting quarterback, and I still will say that I am a believer that benching Ryan Fitzpatrick wasn't quite the right thing to do. He himself said he was surprised. I would imagine a lot of other players were surprised too. Am I a big fan of Tua? Yes, absolutely. He is going to be a great quarterback but I still don't know if it would have been the right move to do. So will the Dolphins end up making the playoffs at 3-3 three and three right now? It's a tough one. Make it a little bit easier for me. If you guys want to type that P for playoffs, I would appreciate it. If you think they're going to end up missing the playoffs, type M for miss. If you're a Dolphins fan and you haven't already subscribed to our Dolphins channel, make sure you do youtube.com slash Dolphins News.